My name is Heather McEwen Stewart. I am a medical office administration student graduating this weekend. My long term professional goal is to manage a medical office after learning and acquiring all the knowledge and skills available to me in the field, hopefully. My presentation today is on the topic of barriers to mental health care, breaking down problems, and building solutions. Statistics do not lie. One in five U.S. adults experience mental illness every year. One in 20 of those experience serious mental illness each year, such as schizophrenia, bipolar, etc. Americans with mental, serious mental illness live an average of 20 years, 20 years less than the general population for many reasons, um, mostly due to the fact that they are far more likely to have access to the help that they need and far more unlikely to seek it out. People with mental illness are less likely to have health insurance than those without mental health problems. Kathleen Rowan um, noted in her article, Access and Cost Barriers to Mental Health Care by Insurance Status 1999 to 2010. The financial obstacles. Um, mental health care is unaffordable for those with limited financial means, resulting in no care or piecemeal treatment. If you do not have the money to seek the care that you need, or even begin the process if you're unsure of what care you need, the means aren't there and you will stay mentally unhealthy. Those who have some means um, still will often piecemeal their care together. They may have money for copay, but not money for prescriptions. They may have to choose between prescriptions and choose the lesser of two or three. They may have to decide if therapy once a week um, cannot be afforded. They may choose to do therapy once a month or therapy every other month when it's needed much more often. This piecemeal treatment does not work. Even those who secure financial assistance often cannot afford co-pays, deductibles, and or plans don't include mental health benefits. Um, I'm sure many of you have had insurance in your lifetimes. Um, and if you've ever skimmed through that book of benefits, mental the mental health benefits have long been rather overlooked. Um, the what is there is often very limited, like maybe six therapy sessions in a year or a very low um, total of what they will cover. This is not um, good for seeking the help that one needs. Mental illness often, especially in the beginning, often needs major, major work. A long-standing stigma. Stigma manifests in ways such as shame, ostracism, and discrimination and robs people of the support that they need. For many, the disadvantages of seeking help outweigh the benefits. Stigma is an even bigger issue for those already marginalized by society. The silence surrounding mental health is huge. If silence can be deafening, that's what it is. Uh, what we do speak of is often full of misinformation, judgment, and just purely fabricated things. As a result, what people hear and perceive can shape their beliefs, their own beliefs about mental illness, um, and can keep those that need help from even acknowledging their own issues and can influence their treatment as well. The financial solutions um, expand plans of those insured to include affordable mental health benefits. 
Many insurance companies offer very limited benefits for mental health, if any at all. These companies need to reevaluate their plans, acknowledge the glaring differences between physical care, physical health care, and mental health care they offer um, to those that they insure, and then they need to adjust in a major way. Make Medicaid expansions mandatory. So Medicaid expansions in every state currently have considerable flexibility in the benchmarks that they'd use to define the coverage they offer. And those definitions can be overly broad or extremely narrow, and they leave um, the country as a whole, like the different states on many different pages concerning mental health. Um, these benchmarks need to be reassessed with the mental health needs of Americans in mind, and then they need to be rewritten and aligned in a cohesive manner across all states. <clears throat> Break the cycle. Untreated mental health issues often lead to an inability to acquire or keep jobs, uh, a steady income, which le leads to no money, uh, meaning no access for treatment, um, and then not having access for treatment and no money leads to untreated mental health issues. It's just a very vicious cycle um, that needs to be broken. Both of the above, the uh, expanding plans and expanding Medicaid would help with the cycle, but addressing this issue and exploring ways to end it would be of great benefit. Both private and government health care programs must be made easily affordable to all citizens in all financial classes. Promoting awareness for specific physical illnesses have a narrow scope. Simple discussion of mental health helps to destigmatize and normalize it. Adam Miller, um, his article, Mental Health Awareness Campaign Exposes Challenges in Combating Stigma. Promoting mental health. So speaking out about mental health struggles is our biggest, talking about it is our biggest, best tool for changing the way that Americans, people in general, think about mental health. Letting others know that they are not alone because it can feel very isolating and like you are the only one and there is just nothing you can do about it. Conversations about what mental health is, um, how people cope, where they can seek help, what that help entails, what the healing looks like. All of these things are instrumental in making a long lasting change to the broken vision and uninformed understanding society holds of mental illness. Correct and truthful information needs to be shared through various programs, even starting um, at an elementary school level. Um, those programs need to focus on eliminating destigmatization. Um, on an individual level, talking about one's experience is both cathartic and an encouragement to others to share their experiences as well. In conclusion, the obstacles in seeking and receiving adequate treatment for mental health issues are extensive. The solutions to breaking down these barriers range from easy to complicated, but all are possible. Awareness and education are the two most advantageous tools we have available, both um, as individuals, both in the financial, the area of financial barriers, because government the country as a whole needs to be educated, and then also in the area of breaking down that stigma. An overhaul of the existing system must happen to ensure mental health treatment options are available to all Americans. Thank you all for your interest in this subject. I greatly appreciate your time and attention.